there. Which probably because they're all full of fat. Is that your screen wash? I've got screen wash, but I haven't anything to spray on. I'll use it out of the tap. I can't use it out of the kettle, but I'm going to go to that extreme. Well, he's angry, whatever. I think he's, I think he's coming for some food. Well, he's got food in his dish. Mm -hmm. Get sandwiches. What's that? Orange. That's one thing I don't need. Sorry. Don't want your orange. No. Thank you. Sandwich. I need your vitamin C. Um, new, new inhaler. So, so that one? Yeah, this summer, well, whatever it is. Alright, that you new inhaler. That's the blue one. You, get, you definitely got all your medicines with you. I have got my inhalers in it. I've got these on. Where's my work shoes? Oh, there them. Putting shoes on, shoes on. You think they spit the last day at work? Um, I don't know. I'm waiting to see what happens if I get this letter, so called letter. I'm supposed to be getting either a letter or a text. I don't know why, but somebody got sent home yesterday. You got sent home? Well, I came home because of my back. That's why I came home. That was my sandwich. Dad. You think kitchen you haven't brought it through? Felix. I'll feed him when you've gone. Put all my stuff together. Because I want to ice it out. Zoe, the first of all this. This is Radio 2. Severe restrictions have been imposed on public freedoms in a bid to control the spread of the coronavirus. People are being told to stay indoors and venture out only to buy food, medicine, for brief periods of exercise, or to go to work if it can't be done at home. Public gatherings of more than two people are banned, and police are being told they can enforce the new regulations with fines. Only shops selling essential goods can remain open. Our political editor, Laura Coonsberg, says... Even well, I might see you earlier today, then, if you've uh, been sent home. Well, we'll see what happens. They won't send mail. Don't. Won't they? No, they won't send mail. What about all this here uh, with the corona thing? Won't they send you on because of that? No. No. No, they won't. No, they won't send me on. They won't, 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 Oh, no, I'm going now anyway. Love you. Love you. Bye bye. See you later. See you later, Flower. Love you. It was well placed to keep the UK as fit and healthy as particular challenges for the supermarkets, already working flat out to keep up with demand. Limits on the number of customers allowed in at any one time are expected. Pharmacists are asking people not to stockpile medicine, with many reporting a big increase in customers. Some are now limiting purchases. The Royal Pharmaceutical Society said stocks were secure. But its president, Sandra Gidley, urged people to show restraint. We've seen what has happened in supermarkets. We don't want to be the next wave of that. So we are really urging everybody, stick to the supplies you have. We'll make sure you get them in due course. But please, please think of others as well. The authorities in four areas of Australia have announced the closure of their borders. 
Under the new rules, anyone entering the states of Queensland, South Australia, Western Australia and the Northern Territory will be forced to self-isolate for 14 days. President Trump has said he expects measures to contain the virus in the United States to be in place only for a matter of weeks rather than months. He's holding a news conference overnight. He thought more people would die from a prolonged shutdown than the infection itself. The weather, dry with hazy sunshine across England and Wales. It'll be cloudy and windy in Northern Ireland and Scotland, but there could also be some rain in Northern and Western areas. BBC News, it's three minutes past six. Good morning, it is Tuesday, singing their socks off for you this morning, Mr. Billy Joel, lovely Dua Lipa, and uh, little Louis Fonzie, Daddy Yankee, and our very own Justin Bieber.